hello guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to a new video and today i'm gonna show you all the details of this car so the all new hyundai kona n and this is a very interesting car for me because as you may know this is the special n version top of the line version with 280 horsepower so underneath this bonnet we have a two liter turbocharged petrol engine with as i said 280 horsepower and 392 newton meters of torque so really an impressive model and you can see that it's a special model by just looking at it because it's really uh, it has the in your face design with those split headlamps and the massive grille and also the large splitter with red accents overall looking gorgeous especially in this impressive spec so i want to hear your thoughts but let's check out the details first of all the lights these are the daytime running leds that you see here and then the main unit is down there we also have the indicators uh, which turn instead of the daytime running leds when you turn them on obviously we have the end badge on the front and a lot of gloss black elements and we also have the air inlets which you see here they are real not sure if camera is catching it also i do love this red details make it appear uh, you know a bit wider even uh, on the front and also give it a unique appearance on the road you see that the side skirts uh, have the same color as the body of the car and i also need to show you this element here i believe this is just for the looks but it does look nice and once again makes it more unique side profile 4 meters 21 as the length of the car and we have those special end wheels 19 inch look at the dimension here 235 40 r 19 we have the Pirelli p0 tires on the model in our video and once again red detail on the side skirts and the end badge as well tinted windows on the model in our video and uh, this is the side profile tell me in your comments what are your thoughts on this sporty design moving on to the back massive rear spoiler which you see here gloss black finish we also have this very cool stoplight with the triangle shape similar to the i30n of course and all of those elements here make it more aerodynamic very slim tail lamps LED technology and the indicators down there so let's unlock it there we go from this angle you can clearly see it's an N model not just by the N badge which is obvious but by the massive bumper massive diffuser and look at those the real exhausts and this car sounds amazing I mean for a 2022 model car this is really an impressive sound of the vehicle and not something that you see often these days with all of the regulations and stuff like that so let me show you the angle let's move up a bit there we go just gorgeous design and a real head turner on the road a lot of people are looking at it especially since it's got the crazy exhaust sound i will do a special video on the exhaust sound uh, but yeah believe me it really sounds amazing uh, if we unlock the car here you can see the trunk space 361 liters and i just realized that someone didn't pull those so let's do it right now okay much better 361 liters square shape and some additional room i believe maybe for the spare tire hooks for your shopping bags on i mean one hook on your left as well as the light and that's pretty much it but obviously you're buying this car not just uh, obviously not for the trunk you're buying it for the driving characteristics for the sound and overall appearance so now that we saw the exterior it is time to check out the interior of this car so the car is locked now and i just need to come here press this and it unlocks of course you do need the key uh, somewhere around you here we are greeted with very driver oriented interior and uh, let's start here so this is pretty nice and we have the black elements 
Krell sound system and we also have the N badge greeting us when we enter the car. These are the special seats for the N model. You see the N lettering as well and they actually hold you on position pretty good and uh, yeah well they are definitely they get a plus from me. Steering wheel has those two blue buttons which is the easiest way to spot the N model from inside but let's see all the details from driver's perspective. And we will start with a wider view. So you see the steering wheel with those two buttons to change the driving modes. I will explain everything in a moment. Two 10.25 inch screens. So the digital cockpit in front of us and the main touch screen is here, of course, in the middle with the new infotainment system. So I think without further ado, it is time to start it up. And I will actually keep the doors open. Start button comes to life and uh, we will put the end mode really an impressive sound not gonna do too much revving right now as I said there will be a separate video just on the exhaust sound so you can check that one out as well but now let's focus on the infotainment system here so the new infotainment system, this is the layout. Underneath the screen we have those air vents and the hazard lights. The AC is really easy to control. So here is where you adjust the temperature and on this button and the knob actually you can control the air vents of course and the air blower actually. Different modes for the AC and circulation of the air, stuff like that. We have the automatic transmission special eight speed automatic which is really a fast one and it's definitely a pleasure to drive it with this one so the dct transmission and dct actually they call it like that we have the usb port and additional usb port as well as the 12 volt power supply wireless charger for your phone here is the button for the driving modes now if you do this normal sport valves open and eco so those three are the options here now if you press the traction now you have additional modes snow deep snow i believe mud and sand so those are the options here but if you want to go to end mode you can just press this button so with this button you would change between the sport eco and normal while on this one you immediately go into N mode or N custom mode. Speaking about the N custom mode, press the N mode button here and here you can access the custom mode. So for example you can do the ESC so the traction control can be on. You can also turn off the traction and stability control but I prefer to have the normal settings for the traction control and the rest of it on sport and sometimes maybe you can put the suspension to normal because that way uh, you know you get obviously a softer drive and uh, how you can enjoy the city for example and still have the nice throttle response and nice steering as well as the awesome exhaust sound as well and so those are the options and I will uh, go back to the infotainment system in a moment but just uh, I want to show you all the options here as well traction control off and uh, actually with this one you can configure whether you want the ESC in sport or normal let's see this so the heated seats but also cooling of the seats available on this model the heated steering wheel start stop off nice to have this on button if we press the button here you go into the rear view camera view I will actually go into eco mode so that we don't have the crazy sound all the time sensors cup holders they're not adjustable we do have the nice real the classic handbrake so not real but the classic one obviously they are all real and uh, here well we have the decent amount of room and this can be moved i believe so this is fixed 
and decent amount of room here as well. And now it is time for the infotainment system. It's a well-known system from all new Hyundai models. It's actually a very good one if you ask me. So let's go to map settings. You see we have the 3D shape of the buildings and it's all looking really nice. If you press the home button, you go back. Navigation, you can change the various settings for the navigation. Phone and phone projection, obviously Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are available. If we press the radio, you can have the list of stations. So just a second, I believe it would be here. Station list, yeah. I have it like this. Let's go back. And sounds of nature, something that we saw on all new Hyundai models as well. So this is the forest calm ocean waves rainy day open air cafe warm fireplace and snowy village those are the options but i will go back now the climate we have some of the options here but obviously you control everything with those knobs and wallet mode this feature is not available while service is off. Okay, so uh, you do need the Blue Link app, which is an app for your phone where you configure various things. And then in wallet mode, I believe you can set limits. And that way, you know, for example, if you leave your car in a hotel or restaurant, you know, they don't <laughs> do some crazy things with it settings here is where you adjust all of these settings for the vehicle and for the system now, if we press the vehicle settings you see that here we have the settings for driver assist systems you can activate or deactivate some of these systems and once again just like on the uh, other new hyundai models uh, at least some of them which i tested and uh, that i had a chance to film here we don't have the real hyundai uh, the actual model so I would love to see the, at least the Kona, not necessarily the N model, but at least Kona. So yeah, forward safety, lane safety, all of the options are here. Driving modes, you can change. Uh, so simple alert, no alert, or detailed alert. So that is for the change of driving mode, the alert for the change. Head up display, you can control what you see. And of course the selection of things, traffic signs and stuff like that, turn info and content selection and display control. Obviously you can display the height and everything. Not sure if camera is catching it, but in N mode you get a bit of a different layout. You see we have the revs. That's quite cool. But let's go back to the normal mode if we go back here cluster you can select various themes you can link them to drive mode uh, you already saw that we have different uh, views depending on the driving mode but you can also set them manually that way you can even drive in eco mode and have this sporty layout but i will keep this on and link it to drive mode service interval and stuff like that I'm not gonna change those things here let's keep them the way they were and uh yeah well the climate settings light settings for the one touch turn indicator headlight timeout and high beam assist door settings and convenience a bunch of alerts now those are the vehicle settings navigation settings you can change the map view and map color as well. Cafe latte, mocha, or milk. Okay, and then map display, auto zoom, 3D buildings, stuff like that. So those are the options here. Alerts and guidance can also be adjusted here. But yeah, that's pretty much it sound settings we have the krell sound system but i think in this car 
you want to listen to the exhaust sound tell me in the comments would you agree with me on that one you can also change the theme and the layout so analog clock or the digital clock so when the screen is turned off whether you want the analog or digital one I actually prefer the analog one look at this and split screen now obviously you can have the scre split screen I will show you that in a moment let's just see the general settings okay that's for the language and software updates and stuff like that and this button so this is the custom button and you can configure the custom button you see them here so on the steering wheel that will be this one and this one as well now you can um, then turn this button into something um, that we see here so that way it's really easy to access the functions that you often use now let's go back and uh, yeah well now the split screen for example if you turn on the map you see here we also have the split screen and then you configure what you want next to it and uh, you actually need to configure so just a second let's go back to the home menu settings and now here the team layout split screen we can add all of those functions now you will see if we press map you see we have other options as well weather calendar sounds of nature or the media that you have the navigation and the clock but let's put the full view and now let's go to the home and end mode so this is the special section reserved for the end model here you have the throttle we have the oil temperature engine temperature we also have the brake pressure and the selection for the custom mode g-force meter and launch control when you press this you can then activate the launch control activation lasts five minutes and uh, yeah well you can play with those settings here you have the engine settings steering settings suspension settings transmission settings limited slip differential and uh, yeah traction control exhaust sound head-up display you can have the normal or the sport one which i showed you with the rev counter and if you are wondering about this this is the end grind shift and when you press this uh, of course the conditions are not met right now but obviously in the real life situation on the road or on the track when you press this you have 20 seconds of maximum power from the engine and the dct transmission so it's like the extra boost and uh, when you uh, press this on you have it for 20 seconds and then you need to wait for 40 seconds to have this option once again so really cool and uh, yeah overall this car is really great in terms of driving soon we will go on a drive so stay tuned for that we have the special section here for the glasses the lights and the sun visor there we go and you do need to press the slide to have it on so now it is time to check out the rear bench 2.6 meters is the length of the wheelbase and now let's see this so the tinted windows as I said and we are ready to step on board all right so well it's okay I mean decent amount of room the driver's seat is adjusted for my driving position and we have the USB port here in the middle we have the nice armrest with the leather now let me show you the situation for my head and this is it so a monitor 87 and it's just about right uh, in terms of headspace 
it is now time to check out what's underneath the bonnet so we press this and here is the main star we don't have hydraulic straps so i'll be back with you in a moment 2 liter TGDI engine, of course the turbocharged petrol engine producing 280 horsepower with 392 newton meters of torque allows this car to go from 0 to 100 in just 5.5 seconds with launch control and top speed is 240 kilometers per hour. So those are really impressive numbers. Okay guys, and that was it. A first look and the review of the new Hyundai Kona and I've turned on the car now. So I will just show you once again the car from the rear because right now you can also hear how it sounds. Really an impressive sound. Once again, there will be a special video on the sound. And now we are going on a point of view drive. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye bye.